Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joseph Ward, and welcome to my own The Shoulders of Giants YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this channel. And that notification button, click that notification button so every time I drop a new video, you will know what's going on. African history at your fingertips through this channel. You're getting biographies of your sung and unsung heroes right at your fingertips. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about On the Shoulders of Giants. Well, you can learn about yourself and we tell our own stories. Peace out. Dr. Marie Maynard Daly. April 16, 1921, Marie Maynard Daly was born in Queens, New York to parents Ivan Daly and Helen Page. Her father was a postal clerk from the British West Indies and her mother was a native of New York. Marie was inspired by her father who attended Cornell University and studied chemistry but did not finish because of financial troubles. She was also inspired by her grandfather's extensive library where she was able to learn about science and famous scientists. Her love for reading led her to read the book The Microbe Hunters by Paul D. Cruyff, a book that helped her make her decision on what she wanted to pursue professionally. Marie attended Hunter College High School, an all-girls magnet school for gifted young girls. After graduating Hunter College High School, she attended Queens College in Flushing, New York. In 1942, she graduated Queens College Magnum Cum Laude with a degree in chemistry and was named Queens College Scholar. Her next step was earning her master's degree from New York University in 1943 while working as a laboratory assistant at Queens College to make a living. After working as a laboratory assistant, she worked as a chemistry tutor as she earned her doctoral degree from Columbia University. While working on her doctorate, Marie was supervised by Dr. Mary L. Caldwell who holds a doctorate in nutrition. With the help of Dr. Caldwell, Marie was able to learn how the body produced chemicals to digest food. In 1947, Marie was able to successfully complete her thesis title, a study of the products formed by the action of pancreatic amylase on cornstarch and earned her degree in chemistry. Marie Daly became the first black woman in America to earn a PhD in chemistry. From 1947 to 1948, Marie worked as a physical science instructor at Howard University while conducting research with Herman Branson on the side. She was awarded an American Cancer Society grant to help her conduct postdoctoral research. Her research led her to joining Dr. A.E. Mursky at the Rockefeller Institute to study the cell nucleus. At the Institute, Marie was able to determine the base compositions of the deoxypentose nucleic acids present by studying the nuclei of a cell. She explored the cytoplasmic ribonucleic protein and how it played a role in protein synthesis. She was also able to use mice to study how protein metabolism differed between fasting and eating conditions. Marie's fortunes changed in 1953 when an abundance of funding was available for the research she was conducting. She began working with Dr. Quentin B. Deming to study the effects of hypertension, aging, and atherosclerosis on the wall of an artery. She became an assistant professor of biochemistry and medicine at Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University. Marie had a passion for teaching and was adamant about helping to increase the number of black youth interested and attending medical schools. In 1971, she became an associate professor at Albert Einstein College. Marie had an interest in learning how hypertension affected a person's circulatory system. Her interest helped her to serve as an investigator for the American Heart Association. She would research the effects of smoking on the lungs and served as a member of the prestigious Board of Governors of the New York Academy of Sciences. She received awards from the American Association for the Advancement of Science, New York Academy of Sciences, and Council on Atherosclerosis of the American Heart Association. She received a designation of a career scientist by the Health Research Council of the City of New York before retiring in 1986. She created a scholarship for African American chemistry and physics majors at Queens College in memory of her father in 1988. 
In 1999, she became one of the top 50 women in science, engineering, and technology, a title given to her by the National Technical Association. On October 28, 2003, Marie died at the age of 82 as the first black woman in American history to earn a PhD in chemistry. Dr. Marie Maynard Daly, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com. And also visit www.ontheshoulders.org to learn more about the On the Shoulders of Giants nonprofit organization.